Hello there guys, welcome into this new video. In this tutorial, let's take a look how we can use Trello. We've already saw how to use Asana, ClickUp, Notion, a lot, a lot, a lot uh, of project management tools. Now it's up to Trello to so see how we can use Trello. Trello is also a great, great application. It do have a free version but if you want to upgrade if you want to see like home premium version standard section uh even for uh great companies i'm gonna leave you a link down below in the description so you can take advantage of a 30-day free trial of this great premium plans and see if there's something that you can use in the future if you're like just okay with a free version only for yourself Let's get starting here. Once I get into the link down below, it's going to be asking me to create a Trello account. So whether I can sign up with, a, with an email or choose continue with Google, Microsoft, Apple, or Slack. I do love to use Google because Google is Google is actually really easy to use. Signed in, I just need to locate my account, hit into the, and since I'm already signed in, this would automatically send me right into the Trello application and my account is going to be created like right away. So you get into create your account. There we go. As you saw, it was really, really easy. And here I do have the dashboard of Trello. Now, as almost every project management application is, of course, going to be asking you for creating a workspace. If you don't want to do this, um, you can just go into the skip section. But I think it's really easy to create your first workspace. So here into my workspace, let's say I want to create a YouTube project. YouTube project and send email invites if I want to add um, more people into my team. I can add that. In my case, I want to do this only for myself. So I want to go into continue. And here is the Trello premium plan that I just told you that is only uh, for you, for that link that I just gave you. So that's the reason why this appears into my computer and hit into start your free trial. So here, if you start your free trial, I think that this is not the best part of Trello, but I think that you need to add a credit card in order to start your free trial. But what I did after the free trial is to, let's say on the day of 29 and add something in my calendar to, let's say, add a reminder to downgrade this on my own but if you don't want to focus into the free trial just go into the start without free trial and hit into continue now as you can see there's something already created there's a work the workspace that was created for us so we can start creating some boards so the great feature about this great uh, project management applications is that we can choose templates so we don't have to be stressed about like going from scratch so what I want to do here is to close this for a second and go into templates. And here into templates, I want to choose a template that can be fitable for my project. So let's say that I'm creating something uh, into this example. I'm going to hit into the same example. I'm going to hit into project management. And here into the project management, I do have something like project management, slide tracker, pre-mortem, beauty production, ceremony booking. Uh, I do want to focus into socials. So let's see if I can find something related into YouTube. So here into templates, I'm gonna go into YouTube. Let's see if I can find something related into YouTube or socials. So here I'm gonna hit into socials, social media marketing. There we go. There's a template that I can use. About this template, how can you use this board? We have resources, ideas, to do list, power apps. And if you want to check it out, go into use template and you can change the title of your of your board. I'm gonna choose YouTube marketing of the 2023 and the workspace is gonna be added into my YouTube project. So you want to keep the cards, keep the template cards. I'm gonna hit into create. And it, this is going to be just taking a second. So it's going to be created. And boom, my board has been added automatically. It looks already nice, easy. <laughs> so I think this is really yeah, useful for us. So I can just drag my mouse and see the resources, ideas, to do list. If I want to look this as a list, go into the board, go into this arrow, and uh, choose different options. Now, as you can see, this is only available for the free trial that I just gave you, 
all four different plans. But at the moment, I think the board uh, so far is really, really easy to use. I think it's uh, for me, it's like more than enough. So speaking about the boards, let's say that I do have graphic things. If I've already created this or I am in the middle of creating this, I want to just drag and drop. So that's the reason why I love to use boards because it's really easy to set up my projects. So here, social media, workup manual. I am doing this. I'm going to hit into done. And boom, if I don't want to see this anymore, I'm going to hit in here and I'm going to hit into delete. Oops, uh, it's not longer here. So I'm going to hit into the X button. I can go in here and go into achieve if I don't want to see this anymore. The only if. And then uh, we do have in the upper side, we do have templates that we can choose to create something else inside the same board. But if I want to see this, I say calendar. Let's say, for example, here I wanted to see the calendar. You have to be worrying about that because here into the workspace view, we have the table content and we have the calendar section like this. So uh, lastly, if you want to add more members in here, you can just manage your members. Go into the member section, select your new members in here, go into guest only if people want to lose, just make a quick job and just like then you're good to go and that would be absolutely anything, everything for them. So lastly guys, what I do want to show you here, speaking about the workspaces, I'm gonna go back into my YouTube marketing. This is the board that we just created. If I choose, let's say I want to create a new card. So let's, let's start creating something from scratch. Or let's say that I want to create my own stuff. So I'm gonna hit into achieve this list. And I'm going to achieve this list as well. So what I want to do is to create something like this, but using the same template we just created. So here I'm going to tap to do list because we just uh, deleted that, right? So I'm going to hit into doing and there we go. And here into the do list, I can add a new card. And here, let's say I need to use uh, a to do list of December 2022. So if I hit into this option and go into the change cover and I can use this color and this image. I mean, I can add another image if I want to, but I'm just using something really easy and so I can make this a little bit more faster. So there we go. And OK, I'm going to hit into save. Now, lastly, if I clicked into this specific to do list, here's the description and the plan of ways. So if I go into the activities, I can show the details. Let's say, for example, I need to do this ASAP and hit into save. So there's a lot of things that is going to be appearing here into the activity section. And here's the watched. And I want to change that into make a template if I want to use the same thing for the next month or for the next year which I think is going to be helping us a lot. Now, speaking about the power apps, now the power apps, some there's something that's going to be helping us a lot to create uh, customizations to our boards, cards and views. So here, for example, we do have something called threaded comments for Trello. This is just like an application that we can add in like, let's say like an integration to our board. We do have card done and the integration is going to be added automatically. So with that being said, now that you guys know how to create your own bulk actions, your own projects, your own boards, and how you can customize all these projects and boards, I think that you guys are now ready to create your own projects and start managing your own things inside Trello. So once again, you do have the link down below in the description if you want to check it out, the pro version, the premium version of Trello. Hopefully this was a very useful video for you. Don't forget guys to like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to see more things about Trello. And well guys, I'll see you on the next one. See you soon and good luck with your projects guys.